Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I have for you um, planning for my monthly spread in my Erin Condren Life Planner. I'm going to do my monthly spread, the two pages, month on two pages, as well as the June notes. Um, the kit I use is from Creating & Co. I, I've only ever used Creating & Co. monthly and note kits. Um, they seem to fit me pretty well and so I really enjoy using them and I think she puts together some really beautiful designs. So this is your top two washi strips. You've got date covers, um, the days of the week covers, and then the uh, holidays that happen in June. And then you've got... Um, you've got some boxes to mark off the days that aren't in the month um, or the rest of the days that are in the month on this week. Um, you've got the other top washi sheet. You've got uh, stickers to mark when the Creating & Co. releases are, next month's calendar view, a this month box with uh, to kind of build the sidebar um, with stickers like don't forget next month to be red and goals. Um, two strips of washi that you can use to block off weeks, like if you go on vacation. And then there's a bunch of label stickers, payday stickers, birthday stickers, important. And then you've got all of these functional icons to mark whatever you need. And then the monthly notes uh, sticker sheet or set is only two pages so you've got the circles to cover there you've got um, three uh, monthly habit trackers that you can put in this section down here um, the monthly notes sticker goes at the top and then you can kind of build in this section with the stickers that she provides so I'm gonna start with the monthly uh, page. I'm going to zoom you out just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to apologize right now if you can hear my fan. Um, as I'm filming it today, we got over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're trying to cool down the house. <laughs> So it took me quite a while to figure out how to even plan um, the monthly view and I just kind of learned last month or figured it out. <laughs> um, that's a little crooked but that's okay. And then I'm going to take this sheet here. Oh, Ronan, no bark. I'm going to pause on this really fast and lay down the strip that covers these, these days because I think that'll be easier. I should have done that first. And then I could line up my, my top washi a lot better. We had a really long day in the sunshine with my in-laws, so my brain is a little fried. Um, and then I'm not going to actually worry about these. I'm just going to put the, uh, the days of the week covers on top. Um, let's see. I think we have an extra full box for this kit. Because that covered, and we need this one, and then that's the end of the month. Okay. I like this box a little better. I just really love the um, colors and the artwork that Paige chooses for her monthly kits. That's good. Good enough for me at least. 
All right, so now I'm gonna put down the days of the week. I like a Sunday start. And I'm actually gonna grab some tweezers to make it a little bit easier. I kind of, part of me kind of wants to bring this up. I'm gonna see. That ripped up a bit of my paper, but that's okay. It's not too bad. Okay. That's better for me. And then when I line these up, I kind of push them to the bottom of that top washi, mostly to keep them out of the script. Um, but also because that's kind of where they are anyway. That one's not centered very well. One more. There, and you see it kind of sits right under the quote, so it's not so bad. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to put in the days. So since I'm on this page, I'll just stay here. Um, on the 14th, Ramadan ends, which I don't, we don't celebrate, but because I have the sticker, I'm just going to put it in anyway. And it's also flag day. And then summer begins on the 21st, even though it feels like summer today. <clears throat> and then the last day to mark is Father's Day, which falls on the 17th this year. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and put down my date covers. Um, so I will fast forward you through this part. So uh, that is it for the date covers um, on this sheet, which is the first sheet. I only have two asterisks left and 31. And since there's not 31 days in June, we're going to leave that as is. Um, next, I'm going to... Um, at the top, I usually... Of the sidebar. I usually lay down the this month sticker. Uh, 
um, at the bottom of the sidebar I like to put next month even though I don't refer to it I've got the sticker so might as well and I usually put it all the way down at the bottom And then I like to take the next month header and put it over top. Um, I'm going to flip back to May and see what I filled out. I don't think I really filled out much in the sidebar, actually. Um, just goals. Okay, so I'm going to put goals down. Um, yeah. All right. So then from here, I like to add in birthdays, my student mentor call, those sorts of things. I think last month I color coordinated. Um, so it looks like I tried to do birthdays all one color, my violin lessons all one color, and my student mentor calls another color. So let's, I'm going to continue doing that. Um, let's see, how many birthdays do I actually have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight birthdays. Six, seven, eight, and I, one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to have a violin lesson every day, so I'll have four of those, and then a student mentor call two days. So, I think I'm going to use this darker blue as my birthdays. Yeah. We'll go with that. And then to fill this out, I'm just going to use this Uniball Signo pen. It's a, it's a 207, it's a micro 207 pen. Um, it just seems to work pretty well for writing things in. There's part of me that kind of also wants to block off the week for the readathon, but I think I'm going to wait for now. And then if I've got um, space that needs to be filled up, I'll add that in. Okay, so my first birthday is on the 1st. It's my dad's sister, Anne. That's pretty crooked. There we go. Um, and then I like to put the birthday stickers kind of um, layered on top. At least this is what I figured out last time. Um, next, Rona, no bark, please. On the 6th, I have another birthday. Oops. Um, let me see, when was my last student mentor call? Okay, so the 6th is going to be a pretty heavy day, but that's okay. Okay, 
I have a birthday on the 9th. When I run out of birthday stickers, I usually just start using the Celebrate stickers. Um, on the 19th, I've got three birthdays. It's a little cramped on one label, but that's okay. And then there's a birthday on the 25th and the 26th. Um, and then, so I usually just, actually, I think she changed, no. Where do I get my Celebrate stickers from? I'm just gonna use important, I think. Or, I think I had extra Celebrate stickers and that's why, okay. I am going to pull from the monthly notes page here. And then for the last one, I'll see if I have um, another Celebrate sticker left. Are you going to bed? Yeah, I'm going to eat this Frosty. <gasps> You're eating my Frosty? Yeah, Frosty. Yeah. Oh gosh, sorry, you're out of focus there. All right, so I didn't have another Celebrate sticker, so I'm just going to use, actually, for this, I think I'll just use balloons for my last birthday. Okay. So that's what my birthdays look like. Now I'm going to mark my violin lessons and I'm going to use red for those. There's no red in this kit. It's been a really long day. <laughs> so what I mean is I'm gonna use yellow. Oh boy. And then I was using a sticker, just the asterisks. I'm not gonna use those again. Okay, so I need four. This is what sunshine does to my Washington brain. It melts it. I'm really not good at laying these down. Street. Okay, last one. Um, this needs to come down. Okay. And then I'm going to double check my student mentor calls for June. I have one on the 6th and the 20th. 
So I'm going to use the light blue for that. No, I don't mean the red. Okay. Um, one, two, three of the light blues. You know what? Just for the sake of using up stickers, I am going to use the asterisks, asterisks still <laughs> for my violin lessons. I'm going to use the two blue since it's on a yellow label. And I'm just alternating the blues. Did he just jump over the back of the couch? <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to use probably the yellow and dark blue um, calendars to mark my student mentor call. Okay, so I'm gonna write that stuff in really fast. My camera took just a little bit of a break, so while I did that, I just finished writing in my violin lesson student mentor calls, and I put in my paydays for the month. So next, I'm going to um, mark the Maddie weekends, which I think we might get three weekends with him this month. Nope. Okay, so we get him Friday the 8th and Friday the 22nd. So I'm going to use both of the blues because blue is his favorite color right now. And I always just use a heart and put it in the corner to mark the Fridays that we pick him up. And I write a little M inside those hearts. And then I know what days we put out our garbage because it's always the Tuesday after he's with us. Um, so it'll be the 12th and the 26th. And um, I, don't know, I guess I'll use this light blue garbage can. And I always put these in the bottom corners. And then the yellow one. So I'm going to check back into May one more time, see if I'm missing anything. Um, Alright, so the only other thing I usually mark is the creating and co-releases, um, but I'm going to wait till Paige puts out the June calendar. Um, before I do that. So I don't have any vacation plans. Um, the only other thing I could mark would be the readathon, the relaxathon readathon that is being hosted by Paige in the Creating and Co. Facebook group, um, which goes from the 4th to the 10th. So I might do that. I'll have to pull up this sticker though if I want to use these strips um, which wouldn't be too bad uh, and then I'll probably have to pull up this label so that I can layer it I knew I should have laid this down first thing <laughs> okay
I mean, good thing is I have extras, the extra heart. And extras of that colored label. So I'm not even going to try to save this heart. Um, this is actually my second time pulling up this label because I already messed it up. <laughs> And then I'm just going to use my ruler to rip the washi and then put it on this piece on the 10th. Okay, I'm going to put back that label while I'm thinking about it. Because otherwise, knowing me, I will probably forget. Okay. I'm going to see if I can save this yellow appointment sticker. Okay, um, and then I'm just going to write in relaxathon, readathon here. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the 7th through 9th. didn't tear very well but that's okay all right so let me just open up this for you this is what my monthly page looks like right now um, this is I probably will I'll, I'll add in goals once I figure out kind of what my goals are for this month but other than that, the spread typically stays as it is unless I um, schedule like an eye appointment or a doctor's appointment or anything like that. I'll add that in. So this is the month, the month portion of this. And then next we'll get into the um, notes page. Alrighty, so here is the June note page. Um, it's pretty basic but when I first started out I really didn't know what to do with this um, I guess I've kind of figured it out now but eh, it's it's still a work in progress so I'm gonna go ahead and lay down um, basically all of the items on this sheet just fill in the the spaces um, for habits I like to keep a monthly track of what I'm, if I'm reaching my um, water goals and my exercise or like a half marathon training plan goals. And then I don't really use the last one. So I've got these um, reading stickers from Creating and Co. These are for the Creating and Co. book club on Face Group or on the Creating and Co. Facebook group, um, which is a book club, um, and it just has the prompt for what we're supposed to read each month. Um, June is a readathon month, which you saw 
on my monthly spread, um, but it's just like July's prompt is strong women, August is set in school, September is a banned book. So I like to just fill up that space down at the bottom, but I'm going to hold off on putting that on and flip this around so that I can put on the monthly notes sticker. So I kind of like to match it up as close to the top as I can. Um, sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. If I don't have lines to follow, I'm just kind of a mess. That wasn't so bad though. All right, so that's the monthly notes. Um, for this, so the month of June, I'm starting to track, uh, I've upped my water from 64 ounces to 75. Um, I'm still gonna be working, I guess I'll just say half K training um, because the plan I'm working on now is a half K training plan. A half marathon. Oh my goodness. And then my water. And then, like I said, for this, I it doesn't this box doesn't cover it up completely, but I like to cover it up as best as I can. And then I usually take the um, where is that other page? This page, the to be read sticker from the monthly layout and I put it in this spot where you can write stuff in. I try to center it because it doesn't fit the white space perfectly. So as long as I kind of have white space on both ends, that's good for me. And then I'm gonna put the circles in where they go. I'm really not good at laying these stickers down. That's okay. I honestly don't look at my notes page very often. Alrighty, so this sheet is empty now. Um, I pulled this a little too tight, so it's pulling up. That's fine. Okay, so then um, Paige includes in her kits some like important focus on goals, uh, remember, she has a quote. I always like to put in a quote. I like to do focus on goals and remember. So I'm going to lay those down really fast. And I just kind of like to alternate where I put the um, script stickers. Um, And remember will be my last one.
So for my quote, I'm going to write in one that I found on Pinterest. It just says, things are about to get really good. Um, I like this because it's kind of motivational. June 1st is the start of my um, fifth term at WGU, and it's also kind of the beginning of summer and looking forward to those months with my family. Um, for focus on, I kind of keep that more towards um, my violin and stuff. My goals are usually uh, school related and then remembering is basically just to take a breath and to not get overwhelmed. Um, so for me, I'm going to, for my violin, I really need to focus on actually I kind of want to change this from focus on to goal and do a goal for my violin and a goal for school my goal for school I want to be to pass one class and start another by the end of June I was going to say my, my goal for violin would be getting at least three practices a week, but I think I will just focus on um, practicing right each time so that I'm getting quality practices in. And then... I'm gonna remember to take one step at a time, or one day at a time. All right, so the last thing I do for this page is to kind of lay down um, these. So I always put the currently sticker. I'm going to flip you around for this. I always put it on the um, right hand side and I just line it up with the um, colored header at the top there. And then I put planner layouts over this colored header piece. And I write each week and month that I, or um, yeah, basically each week that I have to do and check it off as I go. Um, I use this checklist for projects. And I just line it up with the bottom line there. And then I'll put the projects header over top. All right, so I'm going to fill in each week really quickly, and then I'll show what, you what this looks like at the end. Alrighty, 
so this is my monthly notes page all filled in um, except for currently I fill in at the end of the month so that I can kind of look back on what I was reading listening to watching those sorts of things and then my June monthly this is what it looks like so that's basically what I do with the Creating & Co kits. I have some leftover stickers at the end. I've got just a couple headers for the monthly notes kit, um, as well as some script stickers and some asterisks. And then for the monthly kit, I've got some labels left, some more script stickers, and some functional icon stickers. Um, I've got this full box, which I'll probably end up putting in the sidebar somewhere and then once I know what the creating and co release days are again I think they're Fridays but I'm not positive anymore so I'll put those in and that's basically what I have left so this is what the kit I look like use the kit I use looks like looks So this is what the Creating & Co kits that I use look like, all laid out in the planner. And I really like this spread and how it looks. Um, I think it keeps it pretty clean and easy to read and it's nice and bright and colorful. So I really enjoy looking at it. I hope that this plan with me helped you out and you enjoyed it. And if you have any suggestions or tips maybe for what I could do better with this kit or with monthly kits in the view just leave your comments down in down below and I will chat with you there until my next video bye